a running back from Ohio State out of the portal, and then two backs leave. What that says to me is that some people have an issue competing for their jobs, and they don't think they have to compete for their jobs. If you look, if at, I know who's going to jump in the portal from our team, what are my players are going to tell me? Not a coach from somewhere else because it's illegal. I think correct? It's illegal. You got to win with your mind, not your athleticism. Student, athlete, athlete, student, I don't care how you say it, you're going to get something before you leave here. God bless. I don't want to get mad at everybody. I don't want to get mad at everybody. Go get mad at everybody. Go flat out get it. And you know what today is? Portal day. It's portal day. If anybody want to jump, jump. If anybody want to ride, ride. What y'all want to do? What y'all want to do? Did I hear somebody say jump? And after he said that, Three or four people jump. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thanks for coming back to the channel. I appreciate you hitting the like, notification bell, and all that. Love your comments. Let's break bread with your boy, Coach Prime. Jump or ride? What y'all want to do? Ride. What y'all want to do? Ride. Well, let's ride. Break it down on this group. It's just part of the business. You know, many of the players that have transferred have not even been participants of spring practice. It was known in November, December that those kids wouldn't be back, but it's just April 15th was the first day they were officially allowed to get into the port. Toronto player, Travis Hunter is out there and escorting the freshman Cormani McLean away from the situation. Only Colorado penalized. There's the situation, and Veneer McLean was tangled up with Cormani McLean. And Travis Hunter playing peacemaker there. Uh oh, I got a phone call. Who, who is this? My older. Who is this? Hello? Man, hey, hold on. Who is this, man? You talking kind of, kind of crazy? Who is this? McLean. What happened, man? You just watched my video. I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I mean, look, I, I don't know everything. I'm just speculating. I ain't trying to run your name in the dirt, dog. I'm, I'm just trying to help out. Trying to, you know what I'm saying, share some light. Everybody just throwing stuff out there. I'm just trying to help you out, young fella. You don't need no help. Yeah, 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 yeah you do. <laughs> you ain't playing. You need some help. Somebody got to help you. You got something for that. What you got for that? Get it. And you know what today is? Portal day. It's like, portal day. Correct me if I'm wrong. Dylan Edwards and Coach Prime kind of go back to Edwards' youth, or am I thinking of another play? Yes, they were. They were. Uh, Dylan Edwards, as a, a very young kid, was uh, part of Truth and one of the other football leagues that Coach Prime was doing in Texas. Mm, so surprising, because uh, it sounds like what you're saying is that there wasn't a, a conversation between those two before the. Um, announcement gets out there, or, or at least not a conversation of, uh, about that. It was kind of maybe more sudden than you would have thought. There was not a conversation, and unless that conversation is taking place right now, there still has not been a conversation. All right. So you was bringing someone that is blessing us, and taking care of us, and they had to walk through that to get to the blessing, correct? Yeah. Savion Wilkerson into the portal. Yep. And then Dylan Edwards into the portal today. Uh, the running back room just seen a lot of attrition. What's been going on? What can you tell the people? Uh, I can tell you what you just said. They were not at practice today. They were not in the building today. Uh, I think that this is one of those things, man, that you just have to look at the chronological order of how things happen. And I think it's just a red flag to college football out there. There are some people that do not want to compete. You know, it is no coincidence to me that when Coach Prime announced that Charlie Offerdahl was going to be a number two, and then we sign a running back from Ohio State, two guys leave. This is not the environment where you're going to be guaranteed anything. Next, guys, you're going to get something out of this. You're going to be a man or you're going to be a great football player. Since you choose not to be a great football player, we got to make you a man. We good with that? Yeah. Mark, you got wings on your back. Cool. Yeah, I got wings. Shame. I'm a little hard. I'm a little hard. 
Get out, get it. And you know what the day is? Portal day. It's portal day. I haven't you spoke it? to Dylan, right? So these are, again, just assumptions on my part based on the timeline. Uh, I do know this internally. When you look at what Pat Shermer was developing for this offense, you know, Dylan Edwards was a part of it. You heard his press conferences, yeah. how he was now featured in the pass game and the run game. Uh, you know, for you to have all that going for you uh, and want to transfer for a better opportunity, because let's just keep it 100. I'm going to be honest about this. Some of you people are handing out pacifier to these grown men. I blame the parents for these so-called men slash kids for being soft, as put it, running away from competition won't get you the results you achieve. I'll never understand Dylan leaving. They basically changed the whole scheme of things to fit around him. Oh, I gotta jump in. Some of these parents just don't know how to raise. Some of these women just don't really know how to raise a man. And some of these women don't have men in their lives or brothers or uncles that they can use as a support system. So if you don't know something, you can't do something. That's only the defense. Let's keep going. This was a selfish situation and he'd been committed to Kansas prior to Colorado. This is tap dancing at this point. Now, get it. You know what the day is? Portal day. It's portal day. If it Guaranteed anything. Uh, you know, Alton McCaskill, his own statement when he left, he wants to be the one somewhere. And if he's not going to be the one, he's not going. We don't negotiate like that. The best players are going to see the field. If you don't feel you can compete and become the best player, we wish you well in your future opportunities. Speaking about those people who don't want to compete is Alton McCaskill. His dad has been ranting on how Dion played favoritism. He wants his son to be number one. He's like, fortunately, we're going somewhere where that could happen. So let's see if his son becomes the number one running back. This is a case where parents have failed their kids and me, me first attitude. What about the other kids on the team, men on the team who outperform your child? You have to grow up. You know, Nothing is going to be uh, missed with them leaving the program. Uh, the program is going to, going to move on. Uh, I yeah, will tell you this. No, no hard feelings. Some people just got to take a step, step back from the game sometimes. Certain people, you know? Yeah, I feel like I just don't want to play for the place. I actually want to be involved with a great leading program. Hold on. There's no players and how they get that. Were you bummed that Kamani left? Excuse me? Were you bummed that Kamani left? Uh, I want, you know, I want the best for him, man. I really do. I want that kid to soar. I want him to man up. I, I, I want him to be the best possible athlete and human being and person that he can possibly be. I want him to to fulfill all those dreams that, that his mother and, and he desires. I, I really... Really do. I think he's a, a young man that's going to find his way real soon. And sometimes you need uh, to disconnect from something, to reconnect to something else, to restart you and re energize you and, 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 and to the classic. stabilize you. Him. He got cooked in the All-American game, cooked by Travis Hunter, trucked by Dylan Edwards, and many more. I'm shocked they didn't kick him off the team by the end. The disrespect is real. He isn't D1 material. <laughs> what about that? Sheesh. We got some. I mean, even Cormani's sister was responding and kind of low-key making things worse and kind of trying to threaten bloggers or whatever. Y'all pause and read this yourself, but it's still a bad look all around. Nonetheless. Uh, another guy been on his butt, and I'm not gonna let off. I'm gonna keep my foot on the throat because I know we have him. Somebody, what do you have? What? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
to read what actual football people are saying about Cormani, actual credentials, because a lot of his naysay, or not naysayers, but yes men, keep overwhelmingly making excuses for him. This goes back through high school and several other situations that has been tarnishing his brand and his soon-to-be legacy. So if you do love Cormani, pause it and actually read what's going on. Don't just keep making excuses for him. I mean, I'm using this video to show you all the facts. This video didn't even really start yet. When you get to around the 12 minute. And that's what a lot of you guys' comments are, are doing. You guys are making excuses for this guy. Stop making excuses for this guy. And face the reality of what's going on in his life. You dig? And it marks that's the actual start of the video. I show proof, I bring receipts. Emotional, sensitive feelings is what's failing these young youth today. Too many grown people trying to be young out here. Even with this receipt right here, you can clearly see Cormani throwing nothing but shade at Coach Prime. I mean, the kid is disrespectful. Get it. You know what the day is? Portal day! The it's portal day! Uh, I hope that any young person across America, not just Colorado, that is entering the, entering the portal. I hope they're entering the portal with a plan. I hope they're entering the portal with a destination in mind. Uh, you shouldn't just hop in the portal just to see who wants you. You should know who you want and have some focus of your own to control your destiny. So I, I actually hope that, you know, some collective of NIL was able to move a player away from here because that would just uh, make sense. Here's Dylan is a tremendous asset. We're going to try to get the ball to Dylan in all forms of facets. We, we, we I think it's just a red teams. flag to college so, football out there. There are some people that do not want to compete. You know, it is no coincidence to me that when Coach Prime announced that Charlie Offerdahl was going to be a number two and then we signed a running back from Ohio State, two guys leave. This is not the environment where you're going to be guaranteed anything. With Alton McCaskill, his father definitely shows proof the apple don't fall far from the tree. Throwing shade, disrespecting Deion Sanders at every given chance. And his son does the same thing. As you can see, the son is congratulating other players who are leaving Coach Prime. It's like they're excited. If you're claiming you left because you didn't get done right, why are you worried about other people who are transferring? This was deeper than you versus Coach Prime. This is you looking at it, you never got your chance. You see the dad doing the same thing again by commenting after Dylan Edwards left the team. He's trying to basically say, I told you so. Like this guy is a philosopher now. Now even the mother of Alton, Mick Caskill, look at this, she's all over one of Deion Sanders' haters YouTube channels and she's congratulating people. She's all through, these people need to get off social media. There's a reason why your son is not excelling in life and the parents have to take accountability you have to put that and entrust it on your kids too. now get it you know what the day is portal day already pestling him in as our running back one well i believe Dylan, i believe dylan has been in, this has been in the works for the last the last 10 days i believe i believe i think it got i think when 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 alto got in the portal it made him think a little bit more but when, when this kid was for Ohio State was announced, I think that was the final that was the final straw. That was the nail on the call? Yeah. I think it was. Mm -hmm. That and 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 Amos visiting this weekend. He's another kid from Georgia. Big back that went to the big back South 62. Carolina. Yep, two thirty two. Yeah, he's he's a dog. That was a great guy. Yeah. You know, very talented. Uh, had much success week one last year at TCU. Wishing him the best wherever he lands. Uh, but it just seems chronological order-wise that he he left camp because someone was coming in. Mm -hmm. Somebody's some somebody comes offering you offering you big money and telling you you don't have to compete like that, and you can go back home. You know what I mean? You got folks in your ear, your family. You know what I mean? It's just a you know it's, a, it's just when that money start talking, it's a lot of things, man. Go flat out, and, kid. You know what and, the day is? Portal day. It's portal day. Hey, what's good, YouTube family? I appreciate it. With that said, guys.
I'm done breaking bread.